Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's back here, and today we are gonna be playing some Buff Priest. Um, this is kind of like various different types of priest decks, like Inner Fire and whatnot. But instead of being Inner Fire, we are focusing around. I feel like this new legendary. Um, have you guys a spell on a friendly minion? You set its attack and health to the greater of the two, which is really cool and a very unique effect. That's one thing I like about this set is that. They made so many unique effects in this set, and I absolutely love it. Also, we're one card closer now to clean the set. I feel like by the time I try out all the decks I want to try out, I'm going to have all the legendaries. I'm going to have crafted them all. Um, but it's okay. I have, like... Uh, if I just go to other classes, like... I guess they're priests I had a getting... Uh, no, those are rare, but... Um feel for a, there's like a couple golden slash diamonds that i have both of and i don't know like oh, okay, so that's, i guess that's whenever i see a that golden i should i i feel like i should probably dust my regulars if i have goldens right i have like this and i have this i don't quite have a regular one as well but you know i have this i have this i have this i have this I'm not too worried. I feel like there's even more. There's also a whole bunch of extra epics I have goldens and non-goldens of and whatnot, so I'm not too worried. Is this core? Yeah, that's core. I'm not always sure what's core and what's not, so. This was that core. Yes. So you see, like there's another one where I have a regular and a golden. Uh, but yeah, anyways. So, I mean, before I just start going through my entire collection to show that I have two of a whole bunch of legendaries, uh, I'm just going to keep the first game and uh, let's see how that goes. All right. Yeah. So anyways, with all that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first game. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys all in the first game. Well, before I go through all the cards. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I just repeated myself 40 times, but yeah, I'm cute. I'm queuing the game up. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys there. All right. So first matchup, mage. Don't, don't know what to assume it is. So I'm just, I'm not gonna assume anything. I'm just gonna keep this. That's a really good combination of cards. Cathedral is very nice as well. All right, all right. So I see, I see where my deck is. I see where my turns are going. It's gonna be nothing hero power, or sorry, nothing hero power. This, this, this buff. This. I have a giant one of these and start cycling through my deck. Um. Yeah. Okay. So now depending on what we draw, we can draw through a lot of cards here. Um It's an aggro mage deck. What the fuck is he gonna do? Summon a copy of this minion at the end of your turn. I guess I'm gonna probably do this into touch it like that this turn. Then I'll have Two one four or two four sixes. That's yeah, mech. Ah. Yeah. Give a random minion friendly minion plus one plus one. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for now. Okay, another one of those is very very nice. I mean, that's just a lot of fucking stats. If I'm being honest. Do you have the shark? He has shark on turn four. Of course you do. What a fun and interactive game. I love the fact I'm dying from hand here. If both of these survive, I'm fine, but I need both of them to survive. I don't think that's ever happening. Nope. 
I love Mech Mage. I love the fact that this can reduce cost below cards below zero. That makes a lot of sense. Didn't they learn the first time they want they did that? Didn't it get like nerfed? Because it's dumb. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm dead. I'm not gonna let the guy do math for twenty seconds plus seconds to to figure out if his aggro deck has lethal in turn five as he drew Mecha Shark. Uh, that deck's not even broken. It's just so tilting. That deck feels again a lot like Big Priest, where it's just like. You had turn four, wipe your board that had 12 health and deal 20 damage to you. Fun and interactive game. And that just happens. Oh well, let's keep the next one. All right, all right, all right. We drew a Palagos. That's, that's pretty cool. Give a minion plus two health, summon Kyrion with its stats and taunt. All right, I'm going to keep this whole hand. This is a play on two, play on three. Ideally, he doesn't have a kill spell. He probably will. Then buff it. Then I have an 8-8. Eight, eight. This actually waits till four. This freshman would be an insane draw here. Actually, no, I have this, this, and I can play this on three as well. Then on four. Okay, that's actually huge for me. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't get to play the card I want to play, but we are D5 now. So I guess that's a thing. Uh, I guess we just queue up the next one. Yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right, are you rogue? Fraz frazzled freshman on one. This whole hand's actually really, really solid. It's like, this is insane, right? Do this on one, this on two, coin power shield it. I'm trying to think what that can be. It's like a tempo rogue deck is my guess. That'd be my guess is that it's tempo rogue. Okay. But yeah, so this way, if I buff this, this is at five, so it's out of heavy range. He kills it, I mean he kills it. There's not much I can do about that. But then this is also at 4, which means he has to play something plus Evie to kill it, or else it's going to just start buffing this up and up and up. So... Yeah. I want him to start targeting my shit. Like, play something that I can trade into so I can start drawing cards with this. If he plays like a 1-4... Right, which I know is very un un unlikely, but we're a three, a one three or something like that. The play is just to do this plus this, or a one five. There's a couple. There's a one five that is semi played, which is the Naga that draws a card. So if he does play that, I mean, this is this is insane. That's plus two. Okay, that's fine. Northshire plus heal. I'd rather do this. This can still get eviscerated, but for the most part, I feel a little bit safer doing this play. It's also pirate, which is interesting. Um, okay, well, that's an insane top deck here. It's gonna be hard for the priest to find a six damage spell with nothing on board. Is this the next spell you play? If it dies, the next card this turn. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Alright, that's fine. I mean, that was really, really good for him. Uh, the the low thub there on curve is like insane. Prevented seven damage. 
7 plus 6, so that's save them a lot of health there. But I think this thing is again just so hard for a rogue tash to deal with. You have to have eviscerate plus backstab. Where if you had that last turn, it's insta, right? Now I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be an 8 8, and then I think he's gonna concede. That is my guess. Kind of annoying that it gains the health afterwards. Um, that's fine. Right, because it's gonna give it. It's oh, that's true. It restores the health at the end of this turn. Oh, I got huge punish. Destroy everything with great power. Yeah. It's actually so close to lethal. It's too off. Because I'm too off, I'm not going to really show that I have anything. I'm going to do this. This is going to also be really, really hard to deal with. Two four sevens is surprisingly hard to deal with in that class. On top of that, he has to break through this. He's going for a huge Edwin. Edwin doesn't have rush, so I'm fine with that. That's fine. Eight, nine, ten. Twenty. You can even heal here and I'm still have lethal. This deck seems pretty solid. If you don't get just killed really, really early on. You could generate any form of value. This deck feels really, really solid. This card might be a little bit too powerful, though. The 2 4 that sums a copy. I know it seems a lot like it's just Ooze, which is a card from Nax. Um, but it's like way more powerful than the one from Nax. Okay. Yeah, no, this is this is way more powerful. Like the one in Nax was played in the Nax meta a lot. It's just a one-two where sometimes you just throw a plus one plus one on it. Then it was a two mana four six, which was really really good back then. But this card seems really really solid. Not gonna lie. Anyways, though, let's keep the next one. All right, a warlock. Depending what our warlock opponent is playing, we might just see another insta concede on turn three. Um, this hand is trash. I want to say we do this. Yeah, I'm going to say this is fine. I don't think I really need all that extra, like, ramp and shit, so. Or not, like, uh, not sorry, not ramp, burst. So I think this should be fine, right? This hand is actually surprisingly worse somehow. Somehow this hand is worse. Don't exactly know how that's possible, but... Ho! Oh, I am a god gamer. I actually just... Uh, my plan is to do this to try and find a uh, powered feast. But I'm clearly too good at the game for that. Clearly. That's really good for him. I mean, I'll take that. That deck doesn't really have a way to deal with this. As far as I know, all the Imp Warlock lists I've seen doesn't actually have a way to deal with this minion as it stands. He's probably trading these three into this, if I'm being honest. And then if not, this card is going to steal me the game, so. The most important thing to do here is kill these things. Killing these, yes, they're more damage, but killing these is better for me. 
Best card to draw is Holy Ripple, and it's not even close. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, he had to do that. I think I'm going to play safe. I'm in a position that's going to be really, really hard to lose from if I play this somewhat decently. So I'm going to attempt to play it decently. Okay, that's fine. I think I can still fairly easily win from here. Most of the cards that create imps... It's also insane that he had both Fiendish Circles in the top 11 cards of his deck, but... This card should hopefully be enough, plus 4 sixes. Man, I'm not sure if I could heal this. How broken would that be? Start healing this every turn. And... Yeah, they always have the hand. Okay, I'm actually now in a position that I can lose this. Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Four, eight, thirteen. 18 plus 4 22 22 is pretty good pretty good well he's dead so e oh not anymore unfortunate that was such a good disco for him oh is he dead again Eight, 13, plus six. I believe he's dead again. Oh, okay. He is beyond dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was lethal. Yeah, this was lethal as well, because this was six. Um, So it would have been one less damage. So it was still lethal, but we had excess. Anyways, uh, next one, I guess. All right, a druid. Uh, there's no minions in this hand, which is kind of weird. It's a weird champ. I like keeping shield. It replaces itself as long as I need to draw one minion. Okay, well, I drew arguably the best minion. Druids, again, also don't really have ways to... Okay, so it's Denathrius, I think. I think a fair assumption is that the deck I'm playing against is Denathrius. Pretty sure it's very, very fair. In which case, this... This turn, does he doesn't really have a response to it. Like, his best play is Bees, which doesn't kill it. And then I have this next turn, which puts it back up to full. I kind of want to save the power word shield, not going to lie. Okay, I feel like that's actually just fine. Well, if I would have put it first on this, I could have buffed it up again. But then I think I would have forced the poison seeds, which I don't really want to do quite yet. I'll do this, I'll draw a card off this. Did you just poison seeds things right away? Time to overcommit onto one minion and then potentially lose the game because of it. Oh, I could have actually spread those. Could have played that on this and then buffed this. I mean, either way, I get fucked by poison seeds. Which is why I'm not too worried. But hey. Hmm. 
Also, it doesn't kill. I need to find something that potentially kills that. There we go. Oh, this doesn't kill either. Fuck me. Okay, well. Now I'm a little bit sad. I thought I had Xaxes on that, but I don't. Okay, he has the poison seeds too. Oh, I got punished. I deserve this loss. Oh my god, what the fuck am I playing against? I know he's going to be doing this, but I don't really have an answer to that anyways. I feel like developing a board like this is slightly better. Oh, he also had the guff. Kind of, uh, unlucky for me. I have the heal though, which is pretty nice. Pretty fortunate for that one. I'm trying to figure out what's my best course of action here. Heal there. Six, six. I want to save this if possible, which is the problem. I guess no, I can heal there. I'm way over committing into seeds, but that's fine, I think. I need to force him to have it. Have the poison seeds or you're dead. <laughs> I think this is dead on board, so that's another reason. Five. Well, he's digging. It's Fourteen. Did you really hit the sphere? Can't believe this is how I lose the game. I'm playing against an actual RNG god. RNG, well, there's an RNG the sphere, but has lucky enough that the sphere is the bottom three cards of his deck. Drew poison seeds for turn. Top decked off his hero power, the fucking twig. Like, bro, come the fuck on. If I got half as lucky as this man got in this one game overall, in like Hearthstone, I would be rank fucking one legend. I don't comprehend. You hit Ripple. But like, for fuck's sake, man. I don't think I've ever seen anyone quite as lucky as this guy. That sequence of events on that turn was so disheartening. Top decks draw into draw into draw into. Oh, those were those was that was an insane sequence of draws right there. Like I feel bad bitching because his deck is really really cool, but at the same time. How lucky he got in these games, or in this game, it was absurd, and it's tilting as fuck. Because I don't really think he deserves to necessarily win this game. Like, he got really fucking lucky. And I lost because the sequence of draws he had on turn fucking seven were perfect. Like, quite literally the perfect sequence of draws. He drew draw into draw into draw into draw. Like, how how am I supposed to play this game when this is my opponent's draw? Like, you know. Why 
quite literally nothing I could have done better this game, I think. I don't want to say like, oh, I played it perfectly, but I'm pretty sure I played it to the best of my human abilities. Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything better. I guess not overcommitted to a poison seeds, but it's like, if I don't overcommit to it, he never pulls the trigger. And I lose anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. There's no point in playing a game where he's just gonna jerk his dick for 30 minutes. But yeah, that, that was the most tilting sequence of draws I think I've ever had an opponent have. Again, if the Sphere of Sapiens was not in the bottom three cards of his deck, he lost that game. There was 0% chance he won that game. The Druid player on turn 7 had fucking three cards in hand. Ends up the fucking end of the turn with fucking 9. On top of that goes from having 7 mana to having... Or having 9 mana to having 19 mana. On top of that, wiped your, your opponent's board and developed a board of his own. And gained a shitload of armor. In one turn... Because he, the Sphere of Sapiens, was in the bottom three cards of his deck. If that's not luck... And no, the other draws that he had to have in order to make this all possible had to be perfect. Like, okay, sure. What can you do? It happens. It's really tilting when it happens, but it does happen. And it's just something you have to accept. Uh, did I go get my thing? I did. We're getting close. I'm excited to be done this set. Not just because I want to have all the... Well, yes, because I want to have all the cards. It's just that I want to go back to opening older sets. Because I find that's way more fun. I also really want this. I want this an uncomfortable amount. What's the diamond card for this set? I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, it's the warrior guard. That's actually gorgeous. Do they add more diamond cards for older sets? Well, nothing for there. Oh, because these are not the legendary ones. So yeah, no, not for there. I actually love that coin. Man, I wish every set had a, gold, a diamond card. I think that would be really, really cool. It would give incentive to new players to try and collect all the cards to get one of their favorite older legendaries, right? I can understand it's a little bit daunting for new players, but I mean, look at Grand Turn. I'm basically a new player when it comes to the scene that I have two legendaries. What are the two legendaries I have in the Grand Tournament? I don't even fucking know. Oh, it's, a, it's Aviana and it's just a card true heart. Anyways, though, whoops, that's not the button I meant to click. Anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys on the next one. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all there. All right, guys. Peace.